Have you ever wondered how compatible you and your crush are? Or maybe you're already dating your crush and are on the lookout for signs that you are both meant for each other. There are actually quite a few signs that you could be a good match, even some strange signs too. Here are five bizarre signs you're meant for each other. Number one, you enjoy silence together. Do you often like silence or do you avoid it at all costs? Some silences can be awkward, but somehow you could sit in silence with your partner for plenty of time. You're not upset with each other, not bored. You just don't mind the silence because sometimes their presence is enough. How sweet. This actually can show you're naturally comfortable around your partner, where you can be together without feeling like you need to do something to entertain each other. You're just enjoying the silence together. Number two, you have similar shopping habits. Are you a saver? Are you a shopaholic? Author and relationship expert, April Messini told Bustle that, if you're both bargain hunters, you're more likely to be compatible than if one of you is a spender and the other is a saver, she explains. Makes sense, since a fair amount of couples argue about finances and relationships. She continues saying that, when you have similar shopping habits, you're less likely to fight over money and more likely to have an easier time together in a relationship. So do you and your partner like to save money or are you often spending? Number three, you have a lot of mutual friends online. Do you follow your crush on social media? Take a quick look at your mutual friends. Do you have any? A lot? This is a good sign. It could mean you share similar interests as well as similar friends. Callie Rogers, a life coach, explained to Bustle that if you share a lot of the same network, chances are you share similar tastes and values, considering you hang out with a lot of the same people. Hmm, this could also mean you could ask one of your mutual friends to put in a good word for you, be your wingman. Who knows? Maybe your mutual friend will invite you and your crush out to the same party. Number four, you're starting to find even their annoying quirks cute. Does your partner or crush have some quirks and imperfections that you've noticed? Are they annoying to others, but suddenly not to you? Do you love these little things about them? When people really start to like someone or fall in love with them, many will start finding some of their small imperfections attractive. Healthy partners don't expect perfection from each other. No one is perfect. But if you've been seeing them for a while and suddenly find their small quirks are attractive or sweet, it could be that you're really compatible because even their small imperfections are perfect to you. And number five, your relationship is still strong and yet feels excitingly new. Do you still often feel excited and giddy around your partner? You've been dating for a while and although you're comfortable with each other now, there's still this strong excitement every now and then. Are you and your partner continuing to grow and try new things? Do you often feel a burst of excitement similar to that feeling at the start of your relationship? This isn't expected every time you are together, but ask yourself this. Do you still feel like you can continue to grow and learn new things together? Do you still feel excited about them? And how can you keep growing together? These are great signs that you're a good match for each other. The question is, do you see these signs in your partner or is it your crush you're wondering about? Do you want to ask them out and find out if you really are meant for each other? Feel free to let us know in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.